Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley, and you guys are watching my newly rebranded channel. I don't even know what it's going to be called yet, but I'm here to do something that's a little bit different from what I was doing before, but that is to talk about K pop album boxing and how they are typically box because there's different styles and I find it really interesting and while there is no hard and fast rule on how things are boxed or what they might be categorized as I thought it would be interesting to kind of go over the different kinds of types of boxings that I generally see with albums and yeah so let's just go ahead and we'll go over some of the different kinds of types of boxings. As you can see here, I have a display of some of the things that you're going to be seeing when I go over this. I have a cat that is walking over and getting all in the way, but this is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is pretty much the base, most basic differentiation between packaging with K-pop albums, and that is soft cover. So that is, for example, BTS Wings, which is a soft cover. The cover moves and bends versus hardcover, where it is, it's not moving anywhere. So that's the two first basic differentiations. Packaging will either be soft or hard. So I'm going to start with the some soft covers. And right now we've got BAP Rose and Astro's Summer Vibes. Both of these are soft cover albums. They're soft. They have the album at some point in here. And then the rest is just a soft cover. Same thing for BAP Rose. Just a soft cover. Plain and simple. But what you'll notice is that this BAP Rose is a similar form factor to a number of these slip covers which often you'll find that if you don't have a plain, regular cover like this BAP Rose, you're gonna end up having a slip cover like Vix Kratos, Vix Shangri-La, and Got Seven's Flight Log Departure. So what the slip covers are, for example, with Kratos, so you have the album, like you saw, like the BAP Rose, but it has this kind of slip cover. So in this case, it reveals something underneath. And then you have, just like that BAP rose now after that, it's just a soft cover book, but you have this slip cover that slides in vertically like this. Most are vertical like this. Um, Flight Log Departure is also the same way where you slide off this slip cover. When you slide off the slip cover, which actually has all the members on there, the actual book is just plain, then you have all of the insides. So in this case, it's the book and then the card is actually, the CD is on its own CD plate. So that is, since it's on its own CD plate, it's actually just a separate book. And then the, the slip cover is actually what keeps everything together. And then you have the stuff that's a little bit more weird, which is this Vic Shangri-La, their most recent release, and the slipcover actually goes horizontally and it just slides off that way. So you have this slipcover that it's just a little bit different. Keeping with the slipcovers, we also have XO Exact, which is different in that, whereas the other ones were soft covers, with XO Exact, you pull off the slipcover and it actually reveals a hardcover book, which is gets into the next kind of packaging that I'm gonna talk about next, which is the hardcover books. Hardcover books are pretty prevalent from what I've noticed. Um, they are, there is no standard size, unlike the um, soft cover books, where the soft cover books are mostly like one of two sizes for the most part. For the most part, there are exceptions. But with the hardcovers, they're kind of 
all over with size. So for example, this Monster X, you have the hardcover, and then when you open it up, it just opens right into the book. The book is actually directly attached to the cover casing, although it is usually kind of separate as you can see, but it is connected directly to it. Um, same thing with What A Man, although What A Man, it technically stands horizontal rather than vertically, but it is the same size as that Monster X album. And you open it up and again, the book is attached onto the inside. Um, so one thing that you might notice is different is that the books are still going the same way, but because this book, it's attached to the left side, it's the actual edging of the book is on the outside. Whereas the edging of this one with the Monster X is actually on the inside. So it really depends on what side they're sticking the book on. So same thing over here, this, it opens up, it looks like a normal book. So this is BTS's Or You Late 2. It opens up like a normal, a normal book. But like BAP's Carnival, it's on the other side again. So it's not opening up like a normal book. Now I'm gonna go through a little bit of a transition and we're gonna move kind of from hardcovers to a different kind of hardcover packaging um, that isn't necessarily always hardcover, although it generally is, and that is box packaging. So this right here, BAP's Batman, is kind of similar, similarly shaped to box packaging, although it, I would still consider this still book packaging because what is different is that it opens up but it actually is a try open up. So you open it up multiple times before you actually get to what's inside. So it's kind of boxing the album in. There are some albums in that I own that are like this, where you have multiple ways that you're opening it up before you get to it. It's not like a standard book where you just open it and then the pages are in there, whether they're on one side or the other. Um, so this one is a little bit different, but it is something that I do have on a, few of my other albums as well which brings me to some more BAP stuff BAP does this a lot and this is the kind of clasp cover so with the clasp covers um what I mean by clasp cover is if you look at the side when you go ahead and open it there's actually like a magnet so there's like a pop there when you open it and when you open it up you then get what is on the inside so in this case the book and CD are inside but this box keeps it clasped closed together same thing is for same thing for BAP matrix you have the pop open and then you have whatever contents are inside so that's a little that is like one of the many ways that box packaging works there are some other box packaging and this is one that I'm going to mention, so Block B's Her. Again, this is box, but this is kind of non-standard in that it is not a hard box. Like it is cardboard, but it is very, very soft cardboard, but it does have the pop. There is a magnet here that connects down to the bottom part of the box. And then you actually have the inner contents inside. Um, same thing also for Dark and Wild. You have this pop down here and then open and then the contents. So it, it's kind of like the box is like keeping everything together and then you have this nice little snap to get into it nice and easy and it's instead of having to like fight it open. Whereas you have these kinds of boxes, these box packagings that are a little bit different and that, so for example, this is 2PM's Gentleman's Game. You kinda gotta shake it because it's literally, in this case, a literal box. Um, and then you have the contents, same, same as the ones that have the snap inside, but you do have to kinda actually open the box up. And then you have Pentagon's first, this is their first mini and all of their actual albums are like this, where the back is bigger than the front so it's easier to take off the back and then flip it over to the front. And then you do have the contents inside. So it's just usually easier to take the back off than trying to slide off the front. Then here is some more 
box packaging in with like beautiful Vix's beautiful Vix's LR beautiful liar and you have again you have the contents pretty basic and it literally is just it's just a box nice and simple what do you expect from box packaging here's something that is a little bit different in that it is a normal box but inside you don't have the standard photo book instead you have it is literally so this is Nui's canvas and it is literally a photo a whole bunch of postcards a whole postcard set usually you'd have like a photo book but they did it in postcard form which i thought was pretty cool um and different for them to do because you could literally reorder these in the exact way that you want i left it in the order that they gave it but it is something that is a little bit different so now i'm going to talk briefly about a kind of box packaging that transitions into a different kind of packaging and i'll be doing that with winners exit e yg has at least in the past they had a tendency to stick to um jewel cases and you'll see that so you have a box this time disguising the jewel case but they literally just put the jewel case with the album in here um, i'm not a huge fan of jewel cases i am not they break on me all the time and yeah it's unfortunate but so with this it's kind of a transition because you have the regular jewel case but it is actually technically within box packaging but it's still a jewel case which brings me to the actual jewel cases and like i mentioned yg has a tendency to do jewel cases so here's big bands big bangs made the e version which is this is a compil compilation of all of the songs that they released from Made. Um, obviously not the two new songs that were on the official Made album, but everything that was leading up to this. And then another one, SM also doesn't always anymore, but they have in the past done a lot of jewel cases. So this is Married to the Music and you have your jewel case here. album in there and everything so there is that as well finally i'm going to be talking about a last kind of strange set of finally i'm going to be talking about a last of my my abnormals i like to call them so i'll start with dean's trl trbl and this kind of is just a standard uh cd like a jewel case but it is not actually in a jewel case um this is that other kind of packaging that is similar to jewel cases but this is different in that so you have this setup all in here the cds just in this bit here but in the other side they actually have because it's there's no regular photo book they just have these photos that kind of go with it like polaroids so that is the little bit of a different with that that one it's what i would consider non-standard it is not one of the typical kinds of packaging that you would see with a k-pop album another kind of non-standard are going to be these two so we have b2b's new men and also um 17's going 17 and what makes them different um and still not even the same even though they're kind of similar i'll start with 17's is that it is a slip cover so it slips it's a slip cover out so you slip it out kind of a soft cover but it's not like flimsy but it's kind of flimsy um and then you kind of have half a box here so it's almost like box in that it if if it had a hard cover going on top of it it would be considered a box packaging but instead it just has the slip cover top so that is different and that is similar to this b2b new men which does in fact do the same thing it does slip horizontally but what makes it even diff more different is the shape of it as you can see it's not it's not like a it's not it's a triangle when it stands up <laughs> um, and it literally can stand but it is the same thing where it has 
the contents inside and it slips in. And the last two are another two abnormal ones, which kind of both fall into box packaging. I will start with this, which is Infinite's Infinite Only. This is the special edition one. And the reason why it is different is that it is kind of a box, but it is, as you can see, it splits in half. And then you have the box contents inside, but it is different in that it's kind of like, kind of does this kind of half box thing going on here. And then we have the last abnormal one, which is mainly abnormal because of the shape and the material. And that is got sevens debut. And so this album, as you can see, it would, I would consider it box mainly because it is a box kind of, it's a box structure in that you take off the box. It's just a star shaped box. That is what is making it so different um also it's plastic um so yeah it's technically a box packaging but it is a it's definitely a different kind of box packaging but yeah those are the different kind of main albums that i notice with um k-pop albums and yeah i mean there's definitely other kinds and these are not the only types of packaging that's out there but i just kind of wanted to make a video about the different kinds of packaging that i have seen and encountered within my own collection and yeah let me know which are your favorite types of packaging i'm personally quite partial to hard covers and i prefer like the book style although i do also like the box packaging that um is not the standard box packaging but has like the clasp with magnetic magnetic open on it so yeah but like i said if there's anything that you want to talk about about packaging down below let me know and i will see you guys next time